all plugs. Kanye shrug. Hitting numbers that matter. Thank you for tuning to the Black Fathers Initiative of Cleveland. Really appreciate the love. Uh, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Click the notification bell for uh, every time we drop some new material. So I told you guys I was going to be stepping it up a little bit. So I'm not just going to be putting up interviews from and uh, critiquing old interviews from Kevin Samuels and Dr. Umar and Sister uh, Charizard. I also want to take some current events that are that need to be spoken about or that we can discuss. And I also want you guys to leave comments if you, you know, whatever you guys have to say about maybe what I said as well as what, um, what the video is about. But if you haven't seen this video, this video has been circulating on the Internet. Um, basically, this young, and I believe this is a show, so more than likely this is probably scripted, okay? But at the same time, let's break, let's break this down and, and break down what, what the issue is here and what's and why she's so adamant about a wedding for a quarter million dollars. Oh, what's going on? You deserve to be somebody's wife. $250,000. 200000 The type of wedding you want, that's what it costs. Uh -huh. You're bugging the we going to invest that. My job as a man is to hold the household down, and she hasn't worked in years. I'm not spending a quarter million dollars on a wedding. I'm not doing it. So, so, how, so, you. So, so you have no plans on getting married? I have plans on getting Let's go to City Hall. I'm not a City Hall bitch. Whoa. Left. Like, I'm telling you right now. At the end of the day, I love you more than life itself. But you gotta be easy with all this. Love ain't enough. You. How long you plan on being broke? No, I don't like we're broke. I took my mouth. That's not broke. That's smart. Broke people behavior. That's smart. All right. Listen, you call it broke. You know what I'm saying? Leave and see what your ass gonna be. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. Um, I really feel like there's a lot of things I can say about this. A lot of things. First, we all we all we all can understand and notice that this young lady is spoiled. Okay, um, she's used to getting her way. She's used to having what she wants. Um, you know, she's pretty. She's sexy, light skin. So you know, she's she's probably had her way throughout the majority of her life. Um, now, what? is it that makes you feel as though your wedding needs to be a quarter million dollars i mean unless like he said unless i i, I can't i can't even see a wedding for a quarter million dollars personally me personally not unless i am you know jeff bezos money i got jeff bezos money i got bill gates money i got warren buffett money that's a quarter million on a wedding, I have to have a quarter million pretty much to throw down the fucking drain because that's exactly what you're doing when you're paying $250,000 for a wedding. You're throwing it down the drain. For what? One day? For your people to come and eat and celebrate your wedding? And that, and, that, and, and once that's done, the $250,000 is gone? It's, it's, it's no more? No, what? What? So, yeah. So she's totally spoiled, you know, and she just feels as though she needs to get away. Now, the young man, of course, very smart. Like he said, I'm not spending a quarter million on no wedding. We can go to City Hall. What's wrong with City Hall? I think this is where, you know, this is where things get crazy. Because in my opinion, if she really loved that man and really wanted to be with that man, City Hall is not a problem. If you really want to be married and it's really about the commitment and about the love, then City Hall shouldn't have been a problem. But no, she said, I'm not a City Hall bitch. Well, baby... You're going to be a single bitch in a minute. I mean, dealing with me, you definitely would have been single. I don't, me, personally, I, I can't deal with uh, narcissistic, um, arrogant, conceited women. I just can't deal with it. I mean, you think you all that, you think you need all that, you got to have all that, then, hey, go for what you know. But me, personally, I need a woman that's down to earth, that understands, you know, reasoning, and that is more focused on building generational wealth for our children and our grandchildren rather than spending all their money on one day for her. 
Because that's all a wedding. A wedding is for the woman. A wedding isn't really for the man. I mean, it's for both of us. But it's really... <coughs> <coughs> it's really a woman's thing. That's why she goes and gets all the napkins and the plates and gets everything together and all that. And I understand that women... There's, there's some women out there who feel like, you know, that is... You know, that's what, you know, marriage is all about is, 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 is the wedding. Nah, baby. Marriage is, is a lot more than a wedding, okay? And once again, he could spend a quarter million dollars on this wedding. Y'all get married and be divorced in the next six months. You know what I mean? So kudos to the brother for saying no. As well as, like I said, he even said the right thing by saying we could go to City Hall right now and get it done. And what did she say? So, you know, like I said, I do feel this is scripted, so this is probably just nonsense because, you know, I just can't see a, a woman being that naive and inconsiderate to be like, yo, he's, you know, I want you to spend a quarter mil on mine. Like, I, I just, but I'm not saying there ain't women out there like that because there definitely is, but I'm just saying that. I, me and her would never be in a relationship. I could never be in a relationship with a woman like that. I don't care what... You know what? I don't care how fine she is, how fly she is. When your mentality isn't, when your when your mental isn't right, like her mental, once again, is probably dope. She's probably just acting. But if, let's just say this is really her. If that's really her mental, then her mental her mental is messed up. And once again, she probably will end up single. You know what I'm saying? Living a single life because you know you you're inconsiderate of other people's feelings as well as inconsiderate of other people's money because. You know, that's his money that he's saying he's not going to spend a quarter million. And I mean, and honestly, I thought that when it came to weddings, the father of the bride was supposed to be the one, you know, helping and putting up the money. I didn't know it was supposed to be the, the groom who was supposed to pay for everything. That's new. So, you know, once again, like I say, this is it's just a show. But I just wanted to speak on it because, you know, it's, I think women really out here think like this. They really, I think there's some women out there who really legitly think like this and think that they deserve it because of what? Oh, your looks and your sex. So your looks and your sex, and I guess uh, that's all. I mean, I don't know what else you could think that a man would, you know, other than that. What else? Would we, we don't need your money. You need our money. So... I mean, I know y'all don't need our money either, but I'm just saying, we don't, we don't need your money either. So, it doesn't make sense. You know, it doesn't make sense at all. So, anyways, appreciate the love. Make sure you drop a comment. Oh, yeah, and once again, you know, another thing I want to say is that, you know, our, 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 the other ethnicities, you don't never see them having these type of discrepancies and these type of issues with their wives. You don't see their wives jumping out the trees talking about they need 250000 thousand for a wedding none of that they just get married and and and, and have a marriage and, and build generational wealth together invest in stocks and bonds learn businesses open businesses stuff like that with that two hundred and fifty thousand dollars that you would just blow on a wedding that's what the other ethnicities do they take that money and invest it so that their families and their grandchildren and their grandchildren's grandchildren can have generational wealth so let's try to think about that before we start putting a quarter mil into a into a wedding just just my opinion though just my opinion so once again appreciate you guys stopping by www.blackfathersofcleveland.com make sure you guys um like subscribe hit the thumbs up really appreciate the love peace